Hello everybody and welcome back and today's plan is pretty much how um, I described it at the end of the last video. I noticed that in pretty much all my videos I always basically have to say, I don't have to, I, <laughs> I quite like the sound of my own voice apparently, but I say the same thing like two or three times. Um, but this guy, Will, with only one L, he is the chosen one, and he is going to lead the army of hobbits. Let's bring him down there. It's actually pretty good that he's the one to go as well, because Longbottom here doesn't make as much money. But, uh, oh, let's let's get that. I uh, didn't realize we had that. Uh, all these other places make a lot of money. Mickle Delving, especially now, is making us a lot. Um... Which is just as well, because we are going to be needing that money. No also, something that... Um, oh, there's Ranger Captain Eldarion. Um, sooner rather than later, the AA are going to make an appearance over here in Mithlon because they've been drinking too much wine. And they are going to um, put an end to that and take that region. I think it's usually around the 100th turn. So, um, I don't know if we'll be able to really do anything about that ourselves because i'd rather just keep on pushing yes my lord um let's see how this is Ascending looking now 50 percent your orders my i'm wondering if we just let some of them die um let's just take everyone out your will by your command. and we'll cause a, a riot to form and then we'll kill off some of the population that way. And speaking of population as well. Oh, sorry. I haven't actually uh, replied to all of the comments from the previous video. Right. Well, um, there we are. Anyway, um, what we're going to do is we're going to shift some population to Mengelen from Bree. Call it um, a migration of some of our population, okay? Um we're going to do that just so that we can actually um, see some of... Um, where is it? No, it's not that. Why can't I see the... Am I... Oh, I'm blind. Okay. Just so that we can see some of the Dune Dine Steel Bowmen in this campaign. There's a chance that there's also a recruitment um, cooldown. In that, once we've actually built it, we still have to wait, like, 15 turns. And on top of that, we've got no Mason's Halls up and running either. And without them, you know, the building time is also going to be exceptionally long. So, we're still probably a little bit... You know what? Let's just do this right now so uh, we can speed it up. Okay. And, uh, of course, the Hobbit army is being wish. formed. Uh, down in the south, we are. Um, I nearly did that thing where I start recapping things. Yes, my lord. Del Boy's on his way down. Of course, we've also got um, a general named Gandalf who's also coming down into this location. Uh, but we're just going to wait for these two troops to get into an army with Brithor before we go for Bregnas. And that is then going to go. Sadly, not to Rohan, because they're they're yes. just dead at this point. Here. They've been pincered Tomorrow's by Mordor and Isengard, so instead we're going to go and give it to Enidwai. Right, I think that's everything for this turn. Aside from, we could build some stuff. Ah, oh, yeah, let's do that. Let's get the blacksmith. Uh, I'd want Darbad to actually build some things. Uh, or train some things, rather. And, yes. Can we get some merchant infantry here? Yes, we can. Let's get them. And... I think that's good enough for us to move on all of these good and proper regions. Yeah, they've all got stuff coming in. So let's go. Right. We killed off 500 or so people. That's good. My lord. But so that's improved public order by 10. Well, that does uh, help us out a little bit. Um... That's going to give us 15%. What does the uh, current... Oh, okay. That's only... Well, let's get that. Rather than getting the armory, because I don't know if that would ever get any use. Um, and that only takes us three turns. And now that the culture is going to start ramping up, uh, it shouldn't be too long before we Your can Lord, leave. So we'll just go in there for now. 
Obviously, that is going to start increasing the population again. But, um, yeah, for the reasons I already mentioned. Um, so, 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 so. Um, what are we getting here? Just get that. Just keep it building. And Barketa, yes, we've already had a look at that. And Matrith got the chicken farming. Matrith. Oh, it's actually our capital as well. That's quite funny, isn't it? Um, I think we were going to get the roads here, weren't we? Just to speed up the transit. It's not going to yes, get us Lord. loads of loads of money, but uh, Will's going to go to Tharbad, and um, he should then be able to retrain there. Yes, with the blacksmith slash advanced armor smith. Uh, but these Where might take a while to actually get retrained. No today. Which is a bit of a shame. Um, what is the situation on the Hobbit front? Uh, where are they all? Oh, no. No, they are actually available. The Band of Brass Arches, arches are not. I think we're just going to move. We're just going to move out now with everything that uh, is ready. So... I think these guys are going up north. Yeah, all the hobbits and co. We'll take the journeymen as... Uh, no, actually, no, we won't take them. We've got some... Uh, we'll start making our way down here. Um, and that will be the first wave. Right. Can we... Oh, it's still another turn away. Let's see if we can just form up. Because, ooh, Bregnas looks pretty undefended. So let's just pull everyone out that we want. Uh, which is pretty much that. We'll need the hobbits. Uh, we don't need to take them. Uh, what's the fastest route over here? Right, okay, so we're going this way. Let's move to there. And... Oh! That works out pretty well. Yes. Brathal's on his way. And I think actually just one baluster is enough. It's enough just to knock down the gate and then we're in. So that's all we need for right now. We don't need to uh, take this unit out. But uh, we definitely want to catapult at some point. And there we go. We've got one. Because uh, that would definitely make it... You know, just against Isengard when they've got all those masked ranks. Yes. Um, yes. Of heavily armed troops. Um, we can just go on in there. So, Brathor, he is on the warpath. And... Uh, yes, my lord. Hopefully that diplomat just As stays there for how many turns? Orders, my lord. Okay, we'll get there next Come turn. On. And uh, we'll be sure to pick up that fort as orders. well. Uh, with something or someone. Now, our spy, my just lord. check there. Yep, I'm they're not coming this direction. Lady. That's I'm good because uh, Dunyard is looking pretty mildly undefended. Or mildly defended, I should say. Oh, but we do get the gatekeepers coming, so that's that's good. Um, and then, Your will, my lord. let's Your finally have a look up no here. Today. Oh, we've already done it. We've already done it. What am I doing? So these folks, uh, what we actually, what are we retraining them for? Oh, it's experience. Oh, I don't need that. We don't need to bother ourselves with that at all. Um, let's just uh, move out. And uh, we'll take all of this. And I suppose the cavalry could have gone down south. Do we need cavalry in this army? Um, not really. We've got the two. But I think we might need cavalry down here. So, yeah, let's bring the cavalry... They're going to go with the Hobbits. But everyone else here, we're going to move them. Um, let's kind of scoot around here. So I, I don't want to go into Lord Skilled and lose it. But, uh, yeah. Okay, let's, let's finish up and see what the next turn brings. I was just looking at my phone, right, and I watched the, it's on charge right next to me, and it went from 71, or 73% to 71, in the blink of an eye. I'm having a lot of issues with my phone, um, we're not having that, um, it's just like, not 
it's mainly with the battery and not taking charge. Um, I think it's something to do with the contacts at the bottom of the phone that connect the charger to the actual um, charging gear within the phone rather than the battery having issues. Um, but I just don't want to get a new phone. <laughs> um, let's put that in. And then once that's built, then we'll move the population over. And because, like, what do you even use your phone for? Like, your phone... I mean, personally, I don't need it to do computer stuff. Like, things that might warrant a computer. I'd rather just get a computer. <laughs> My phone, I use it just for, you know, phone things. I might get on the internet a little bit, but it doesn't need... Your orders, my lord. Loads of computing power, so I, I'm really reluctant to spend will, my lord. money, especially my now that like are. phones cost so much. Um, like I just no, thank you. Yes. I, I I have an iPhone seven right now. I think I bought it a year after its release as well, orders. and it's still like super. Yes, for what it well, I mean for what it is, I suppose it's okay. I've had it for we can go no three and a half today. years now, I think. So. But I, yeah, I don't, yeah. Anyway, we're going to go and finally take something from Isengard. What do they have in there? What do they have? Oh, they've only got one general. Urukai bodyguards and the orc defenders. And yes, the Enidwyth diplomat is right there. So we can hand it over immediately. Attack! So usually what happens is... <laughs> By the way, welcome to uh, Bregnas, was it? Usually what happens is that you uh, take down the gate and the enemy kind of retreats, but that's not what is happening here. Um, they've actually come out of the gate. This is ridiculous. So uh, all of you just stop firing at will and uh, we'll move you out. And just have Brathor kind of deal with this. And uh, all of this. We've got... Oh, no, we do have a unit of cavalry. Like Good. We will smash the enemy. So, yeah, if you'd like to just keep on taking that out. We'll just have these Watchmen, Sword Guard, or Axe Guard, and Brathor take out these Orc Defenders. Did they always used to look like this. So, does Isengard have its own model? Uh, 5 and 10. Oh, maybe they do. They look like very basic orcish units. Indeed. So, um... Oh, look how... Look how responsive these guys are. It's always the crossbows, isn't it? Always the crossbows. Right, well... They're clearing off. Just as uh, we're about to clear them in. But that's okay. Down. The gates are down, and you just got Brathor over here. We're gonna snipe these uh, bodyguards a little bit, like we can send him into melee if need be, because we don't really want to be taking too much damage. Let's just line up our crossbows over here, and I think we will just get all of our axe guard over here as well. So I think they're, they're the only units we're going to be sending in. The AP is highly valuable. Stick these boys on fire at will if they do get in range. Alright, let's see this. Journeyman there. Look at those shields. They look so cool. There's 30. I thought there were 33, but no, there's 31. We took out one. Or two. Three. Maybe there were 33 and we just... Uh, yeah, I think they're taking about three of them each time. Although the closer they get, the worse our shots become. Well... Oh, here they are. They've come out. Right, you stop. You run away. Uh, you stop what you're doing as well. And we're just going to charge on in there with... Uh, I mean, I suppose we don't really need to charge. But, I mean, we are going to. And um, I also want to point out that the journeymen, they do pull out these little mallets here once they're done. So I think they're, um, 
their two melee attack was absolutely pitiful. It is AP, which does give it a substantial bonus, which does, like, it does give up to, like, you can almost think of their melee attack as, like, 10. Almost. If we continue uh, like by, this, um, we will smash the enemy. with the armor reduction capability added on. But, uh, yeah, it's basically just the bodyguard there. Oh, they do have a few more orc defenders over there. Well, they really want to just stand over there, so um, <laughs> we'll just have Brathor do some target practice. And it is just the general left. And, uh, well, we'll run over there and charge him down in the back. I don't think our charge bonus is very much yet. Yeah, it's only three. But the amount of damage he's already taken, I reckon he's going to go down here. This guy's going to have him. Yep. There we go. The first swing. Fantastic. And I think we're just going to send Brathor in to do the rest. If you can fire from there, though, um, that'll help us out. And uh, there's 89 of them. But I think we can just let our noble general do the rest for us. Uh, is this actually going to fire? Or we could just let the Dunedain Rangers actually do it. <laughs> They're just shooting from over here. Getting shot after shot. Now, once it goes down below 10, then we'll send in Brathor. I mean, we don't really need to do that either. It's just more fun. I want I want to see Brathor in action. He's a, a unique general for us. So once again, in comes the charge. I reckon four go down in the charge. So I reckon we're going to see this go down to six. I saw a... Okay, well, I think only two of them actually went down in the charge. Although, I mean, they are not long for favor. this world. You can just speed it up. The and the last one this goes down. Smashing job, we lost two. That's fine. Most kills obviously going to Brithor himself. The first of... Um, well, maybe only three. Um, we kind of need the money. So I'm going to sack it. And we're not going to be holding on to it anyway. Let's see what... Well, they are well off as well. So um, let's also get military access. And I'm going to give you... Um, the reason why we're giving this region, by the way, is because we don't want to be fighting... Isengard, really. We merely want to send the hobbits to Isengard to take that, but um, the the uh, onus of the campaign, if you like, is going to be um, more about fighting Angmar and, and the goblins, I suppose, um, after this. So, let's ask for 10 grand. I don't really need a whole lot more, and that's still generous. So, let's go ahead and do that. How could we refuse such a well? Gem? That seemed fruitful. And they've Farewell. got no one in there. Yes, my lord. Well, hopefully it turns out okay. So now, yes. Brathor, we're we going to send him tomorrow. towards the formidable garrison there of Eisenrun. Um, my lord. I Your think orders, my lord. we can With bring honor, Del in lord. here though. Yes, and. Bring all this in. Because I want to make sure that the yes, door... Well, I, I kind of want to send him north at some point anyway. So maybe now is a good time. Although he would be exceptionally useful against Isengard. But... Um, uh, let's have a look here. Yeah, Edorast is held by Mordor. So... And this is presumably all held by Isengard. So we're pretty much going to stop like here... Uh, we're not going to go further than the Foldberg, certainly. And uh, I've already done that kind of in the KD campaign, so I don't want to, there to be too much of an overlap. Right, let's see what we need to build. I think... Um, I think with the rest of the money, we'll just uh, get some more infantry and things that we can over here. And um, that is pretty much... It. Ooh, get the gatekeepers. Or, rather, just um, retrain those that we've got. Like so. 
And yeah, that's looking yes, pretty good. Everything's been moved. And we do have money to build the mines here, but the mines don't give that much. And we're not making that much money either. So I think what we'll do instead is we'll just hold on to it and um, build up our more profitable regions like Buzzard Dumb over here and then get roads and stuff like that. And eventually we will get it. So I think we can now end the turn and see what it brings. And well, <laughs> oh dear, Hornberg has been lost. Um, I am, no. Oh, that is not good. Um, oh dear, that is really not good. Can we leave here? Your orders, my lord. It's 60%, but that will be built. I think we just go yes, now. Your will, my lord. Oh, that is yes. so bad. Your orders, like, my lord. Like, my allies just always are so bad. <laughs> you just cannot count on them. Um, if they come down to Bree, we've got nothing. Um, we're just going to have to build something or, or recruit something rather. Um, they'll come at us with, I mean, they can move up here pretty much in one turn. So anything that we can get in two turns, we'll get that. So uh, we'll have to get them and we'll have to get them. Um, and I think the lumbermen as well. I mean... They're going to have a lot of armor. So we'll get them as well. Now there's a chance that they don't come this way as well. But uh, we can put these units into the fort. So I'm very glad that I do. I did have that money. Right, Byrig has got um, this built up. Oh, and we also did... Um, so that's now becoming a city. We did um, retrain Barlaman. So he's yes, now got the best armor available. And uh, he's he's a little bit better. He's decent. And we could move him instead over there. But I don't think it's going to make us... Actually, he probably will make us a lot more money in Tharbad, won't he? Um, but now that I've moved him, he's not going to be able to get to Dunlarak. And I kind of need that money right now. So we'll just leave him uh, in there. So, we'll just move wish. these guys along, and yes, my lord, like so. Yes. Where where should we go to now? I'm gonna stick you. I'm not so sure we would be able to beat an army of Isengard that's even like that because they've got so many archers there. We've got one unit of cavalry that probably wouldn't even be able to beat them. Their archers. Uh, we've got a decent amount of armor, though, on these journeymen as well. Who who are we really fearing for from an archer of four missile attack? Well, I suppose there's the uh, the farmhand pikeman. Have a taste of my blade. Ah. Right, my spy. Lord. Approaching quietly. There's nothing over there. Like, we could easily take that. Your orders, we could take it like lord. right now, but hang on, what's my what's lord. happening over here? Approaching quietly, my lord. Because we need to be very. Oh, there's uh, Enderdwyth already there. Well, that's looking Greetings, pretty good. So they do ally. still. Oh, they've. Oh no, they haven't. I thought they'd taken uh, Karas over here as well. But um, I'll keep the diplomat there. Yes, my lord. And I think what we're going to do with Brathor. Your orders, my lord. Is orders. I'd really want to get that ballister yes. in here yes, too. My lord. Let's orders, just my lord. put these two together like yes. that, and then we can figure out what's the best army to go forward with. We're gonna need these folks to come will, um, 
down for support, though. Because we're going to suffer a lot of casualties, I think. So we'll bring them down. And if there's anything else, that catapult's not done yet. We've got these gatekeepers as well. And, yeah, get them both as well. And them. I think there's going to be a big battle on yes, the cards in just a moment. Oh, but we got Will in there. My Lord. Yes. And the first wave, no the first round today. of Hobbits. I don't know if we can actually bring too many more Orders. without it my Lord. just taking Your will, my Lord. the piss. Right, let's just go in there because my Lord. Um, I want them to be on the way, but... I also want them to be able to make it back into Bree, depending on what that army there does. Now, I think Andy then, orders, my lord. My with this spy, let's just have a look over here. Approaching quietly. Approaching quietly. Approaching um, quietly. You can only really go to one of these places. Yes, my lord. But... But, but, but. Your orders, my lord. How many turns? Okay, well, this is the quicker way anyway. And we've got plenty of movement range there. So we should be able to yes. go to that bridge there. And if we stay there over the course of the end turn. Come and get me. I don't think they're going to come and attack yes, us anyway. But if they did, I don't know if they've got the movement range to get over here. I will only address you. I don't think they would. Battle. We'll stay there for one turn and then we can still get here at the same point of time because we need to get that back. And I think we might give it over to the Dundine. Oh, right. Well, uh, so many decisions. Let's move on then. Has everything else been done? Quite like the roads here, but they're not critical. The population sucks. So let's put that in there. And that is pretty much it. We will have the mining network coming in next turn as well. So that's doubling up that money there. So that's going to start making us a lot more. So we'll feel a bit more comfortable. Well, what have they done? They are definitely... Oh, no. You, my enemy. They are definitely coming for us. Uh, So... You're all going to have to get in there. And what do they have, though? I mean, it's hard to say. But we'll get these folks in. Uh, sadly, we can't really get anything that's going to take... Like, we can't get these. Perhaps I should have got them last turn, because they're pretty decent. Um, no more archers. We can just get merchant... Oh, wow, look at that. But look how much armor they've got. But that might just be what we need. Just to get two of them and then one of them. And I think we'd probably be okay. And that would also allow us to swoop in Your orders, my lord. Come and, get and me, to take coward. out... Or, or, this is something that definitely can work against the AI, because their main army is here currently, and there's one over there, and there's these two forces over here. We could draw these two over here, and if we were to win that battle, which we could, maybe... Um, yes, my lord. I think we're just going to throw Andy straight in it. Your orders, my lord. I think he needs to, because if we can win that, we will save Bornost effectively. And I think my lord. the Dunedain could go in there and grab it. And if we win here as well, then that would basically be a really hard blow struck against Angmar, and they would not be able to recover from that. For quite some time. Yes, so, Lord. to make sure that we get Lord. over there, let's just use the cavalry yes. and Marching do that. Your orders, my Lord. 
Oh dear. No chance of anything. Oh, jeez. Well, we could hope that they don't send everything at us. <laughs> like, if they send those two and that at us, we might struggle. But if it's only one of these, then I think we'd maybe be okay. It really depends on what they've got in their army. If they've got loads of, like, loads of wargs, I think we'll really struggle. But, 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 um, let's yes, build an army here for Brithor. Orders, my lord. So there we are. That orders. is what we're going with. Yes, my lord. And I think we'd be able to beat that, but I'd rather not go into a siege battle. And just to help out Enidwyth, I think your orders, my lord. What we're gonna do is the classic besiege them. Yes. How, how does that look on auto resolve? So that's actually in our favour. I reckon that army there. Stick you. Yes, my lord. If they came in as well, I think we would win. But we're not gonna risk it. No, we're gonna go in. We we have to. Uh, yeah, because that would be a crippling victory, I think. But they've got how many archers? They've got one, two, three, four, five, six archers. And um, these fellas are okay. But they aren't actually as good as our men. But there are more of them per battalion. And then there's the Uruk Reavers as well. So let's go on in there and see if Prathor can, uh, can uh, do this one. Muster your courage, men! We must reach the enemy's walls! Fantastic! Right, uh, yeah, you can stop firing, by the way. Um, so, let's have a look how they are. There's just raiders, raiders and reavers. Where are the archers? Um, they're all back here. Yeah. They're all back here. So, I think as soon as we move in, they'll likely move somewhere a bit better. We're going to take our ballistae to there. And let's go in with our sword guard. Let's just run them over there so we get them a bit quicker. And then I think uh, once they're in, we'll come in with the axe guard and we'll try and just flank. We'll send two over there, two over there. And um, the sword guard will kind of just push through the middle. And then if our ballistae can just fire at whatever they have up here on the hill, that will be ideal. And then the journeymen will send them around the outside as well just to support. Um, I think the archers, we can kind of keep them out of the settlement and just fire on in. And we are in. And now as the uh, ballista bolts fly in overhead we now start the slaughter so you kind of get over here maybe uh, our backup general you're coming over here and everyone else start running those two archers over there if you'd like to I want to be able to take out the reavers with them so what are you you also come round here, actually. And what are you firing at? You're firing over there. That's looking pretty good. You've got uh, defensive mode on. And there's some Uruk Reavers there. Give them a few shots over there. I'll move him in in a bit. And these two will move them into the settlement as well. But if we could just get past here, then we could kind of squash them. In between us and I have strong faith that we will be able to hold on over here depends actually where they're going right okay yep now charge them they might send more at us but that's okay right let's send Thor in here and 
They're shooting at us over here. That's fine. Right, Sword God, you go in over there. And then we should have two units of axes here, yeah. So you go in over there. And you go and attack them. And then if we could actually get one of these journeymen over there, we could start shooting them in the back. Because I think this will go reasonably okay. But we are going to get flanked. Let's see if our general can get round there. We're not really u losing any men at all. And the Ballastai are doing pretty well. I mean, any kills that they get are welcome. But, uh, oh, they're sending the Reavers over there. Right, Cavalry. Get over here. So, you run over here. You run over here. We'll split them up. And hopefully the cavalry aren't too far away. I mean, one of them's reasonably close. Right, if you'd like to get over here. Um, right, General, you actually swing round over there. And you two start firing at them. You're going to line up there and you're going to start shooting. So we've got them nicely piled up there. So let's get you a bit further along there. And if you can, you might be able to get some straight shots through here. So we'll give that a go. Someone's getting charged. Oh, that's our general over there. Right, let's see what's happening over here. Right, bring you out. They've gone, they've gone into the uh, Watchman Sword Guard. That's fine. We'll wait for them to clump up a little bit before we go in with the charge because um, I think the archers will probably do a bit better than us. So uh, you just uh, whip your swords out and start fighting. And you fire into the back of them. As I say, we're, because we've got so much missile block, I think we probably do okay against all of that. I'm a little bit worried about our general over here because he's not actually that durable. Probably shouldn't have sent him in there, really. All right, let's bring you out. Send you over here because otherwise he's going to go down. And uh, if you... You just fire over their heads. Get some kills. You come over here. We could bring those... Those crossbows over here, even. Don't need to, I don't think. But, uh, right, we are now in a pretty good spot. So if you'd like to just stop what you're doing. And we're going to come in with a charge on these. And that's hopefully going to break them. In we come. Da -da -da -da. It might not, though, because they are impetuous. But that is why we've got another unit there. And pull out. And they're wavering. So I think this one right here should break him. So we can move these boys into a good spot again to start firing. And what's the situation here? Well, we've beaten them back sufficiently. These boys are firing over their heads. And we've to those are Reavers. And I think it's not the end of the world if this guy does go down. It would just be a bit of an annoyance. Don't actually... Oh, I think he's this guy here with the helmet, so he's fine. And now with the axe guard in the back, he's probably doing okay. So let's set these guys up for success as well, and we'll start firing into them. The, uh, the Ballastai have long since run out of uh, ammunition, so... Um, yeah, that's been wiped out. Good. Right, come over there. And then if you'd like to just fire in over there. And Bathor as well. Where are you? Okay. Just fire at that. You've got everyone in range of these archers over here. And uh, we've changed targets for them. Because these are basically done. So... 
we don't really need to be coming in here to flank these because we have just beaten them. And I think, yeah, they, they're gone over there too. And I think they're out of ammunition. So come on in into melee. And what are we actually aiming at? Uh, we're still aiming at these guys. Okay, that's fine. And... Well, do we let these guys continue firing? I think we can because I think the archers and our crossbows will probably do the damage a lot quicker. But if you'd like to come in and attack these in the side, I think that would be a good idea. You're going to stop firing though because your accuracy is not good enough. We'll bring around Brathor and bring these around. We'll just strike from this side only. But, uh, I mean, we can send them in. Yeah, I think now that they've kind of gone over the crest of the hill, we're struggling a little bit to hit them. So, um, we'll just send all of our forces in. It is just archers at this point. This battle's gone really, really well. I didn't think it would go this well. So, uh, you go in against them. And the sword guard will bring you in over here. And uh, the Thor will just send you into melee as well. Because this is all just gone. It is just the general himself over here. And one bodyguard, I think. But, uh, yeah, we can just fast forward now because we've got the town square as well and 95% of them have gone down and now it is just the general who is right there so if you'd like to all go and get your swings in excellent Without him, his troops will lose. This is wow. a clear victory. I, I'm really surprised that Bree can win like that. I didn't think that they would be able to beat Isengard so handily. Like, look at the kills on those sword guard. Three, four, eight. And it's all down to us siding with the, uh, with the Northern Dunedain and getting the bonus to our armor. Two, seven, seven for the axe guard there as well. Um, but yeah, the sword guard just absolutely rinsed these orcs. And the journeymen did pretty well too. They're definitely getting a lot better as the campaign goes on. And down they go. Down they go, down they go. An and again, I really want victory. the money. And since we're not going to be holding on to this. Conquest. And this is going to Enidwyth as well. Um, just to give us that clear border with um, or rather remove the clear border with Isengard so they don't come for us um now I'll do that next turn though my lord. and your will my lord yeah I think what we might do my lord because with As what's going wish. on now I think Will's your just going to come out lord. with the hobbits that he's got and we're just going to take 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 it out now like we've got a few hobbits here or there. Like, there's some there, but they're not full strength. Right, there's some. Send them in there. Get them trained up for the armor. And then there's two more units back here. So, how many is that? Two, three. Three extra units. Yes, my lord. We'll try that. Um, We'll try that. Because they do get the garrison in there as well. I think they might need a bit of help. I don't think they'd be able to take him out. I don't think they will. Um, oh, and Will needs the... Uh, he needs the armor bonus. It's three extra. So, yeah, we'll definitely need to do that. Uh, we'll stop him off at Dunyard to do that. Um, oh, this is the 100th turn. This is the 100th turn. Um, well, we're going we're gonna to go for... Your will, my lord. One more end turn... Just to see what it looks like. Because there's a chance that a lot of things could happen here.
Well, a lot of things did happen. Not quite what I thought was going to happen. Um, I thought maybe we would have been attacked um, here, but we Lord haven't. And I just wanted on. to see what that looks like. <sighs> I don't think we'd be able to win that because it's a castle. <laughs> um, we might lose Barquetta. Right, well, uh, we are also besieged in that fort. That's not too bad, but we are besieged here in Bree. We're going to... Ooh. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, my... We're going to lose Bree. How do they... They've just got an army of generals. That is ridiculous. Well, we'll be able to get it back eventually, but that is going to be a big blow for us. Yes, but um, we're going to have Will. He's going to be coming Honor. down to take Shall Isengard. We've been relatively successful today. Thank you for watching, and I hope that you have a jolly week. But for now, I'm going with Gandalf. Good day.